Hey guys, it's Jason. So I'm working on a stem and I just wanted to show you guys my process when it comes to drums. So yeah, because I've used to find this really hard and difficult because I'd try to find something that was exactly like the track and when I couldn't, I'd end up paying someone to do it. But I've since found some ways around that to get pretty close and I wanted to show it to you guys. All right. First off, I am using uh, what's it called? Studio Drummer. It's uh, part of Native Instruments Complete. Um, and I'm going to show you here. I use one of their pre-recorded MIDI tracks. Let me play this track first, actually, and uh, show you what I'm trying to replicate. So here it is. All right, so that's it. Uh, so I started off with this. I used, I think, three and, and one of these. Um, I don't remember which hi-hat pattern I used exactly. Actually, I think it was this one. So here, take a listen. Yeah, it'd help if I didn't have it muted, right? Let me start that over. All right, here. Right, so you can see that's nothing like this. Right, so what I did was, what I'm really concentrating on with these is the hi-hat pattern, because for me at least, that's something that I cannot replicate. So I try to get a good hi-hat pattern, and then I edit, I'm gonna edit the um, snare and the, the kick drum in to match this. So. From here, I'm going to play this one more time. And then this was the outcome after I uh, used the MIDI tool in Logic and just painted it over here. So you can see the hi-hat I didn't change, the kick and the snare I edited. All right, so listen to the track with it together. All right, so you can tell that's 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 close. That's real close. All right, so yeah, I did that. What I'm gonna do now? I've done this section, this section, this section. I'm gonna do like a hands-on thing and do this with you. So the first thing I'll do is I'll of course loop it um, and listen to the track. So let's listen to it. All right, so yeah, so I'm gonna <laughs> do one verse or one measure at a time. All right, so gum So um, leaving this, this is a ghost note in there. Um, I believe this is needs to come here. Boom, 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 cat, boom, cat. Actually, over, uh, delete this one. Boom, 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 cap, boom, cap, boom, cap, boom, boom, cap, boom. I'm guessing to some degree. Uh, educated guessing? Let's try it. Yeah, I need to. So I think that's right. Um, cat, cat, goom. Uh, I think that's right. Boom, 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 cat, cat, boom, boom, cat, boom, boom, cat, boom. Um, this is a ghost note. So, uh, well, let's listen to it. All right. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I'm going to change this to... That, oh, let's get rid of this. All right. Yeah, the, the velocity is too low. That's 106. Let's make this 106. All right. 
All right, I believe that is correct. And there's a there's an extra kick here on this sixteenth note. All right, so yeah, there's already parts in here that are slightly off. You can see like this doesn't line up to humanize the effect. So I leave, I try to leave those in there when I do them. Uh, let's do uh, the next verse. Yeah, completely off. Mm. This one's like the first one at the beginning. I want this one quantized. All right. Um, I believe this needs to be a real note. Nope. All right. Come palm. Just like the first one. Y'all forgive my sound effects. All right. Um, so that is a snare and a two E and uh with increasing velocity. All right, and the kick, the kick pattern stays one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, those are here. Get ah, uh, I'll leave that in there for now. Um, I'm gonna have to quantitize this to thirty second notes in a second. Oh, I keep doing that, holding alt at the wrong time. Ah, come on. All right. All right. So first, let me quantize this because it's going to bother me. All right. Let's listen to it. All right, cool. So I'm going to make this uh, grow. I'm going to start from around 40, and I'm going to do this arbitrarily. Um, sure. Sure. All right. All right, let's listen to it by itself. All right, so I, I started off a little too light, so I'm going to move all of these up. Yes, there we go. All right, so yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, guys, pro tip and actually something I missed in the beginning. The way you get these MIDI files out of uh, Studio Drummer and the other ones that are um, part of Complete, what what are they? Like, uh, they'll pop up here. Yeah, the Abbey Roads. The way you get them out of contact is um, after you click on them or double click on them, they appear here. You take this little whatever it's called and drag it. And then you can drop it right into Logic wherever it needs to be. It's going to take the exact thing you're hearing and put it in MIDI on the track. So, yeah, that, that's how you do it. From there, then you can edit it. All right, guys, and that's it. That's everything. I just wanted to make this quick video to show you how you could use MIDI drums or how you could use MIDI tracks and uh, arrange them or change them so that they could be MIDI drums. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, leave a like. Subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you on the next one.